an aircraft tow bar is positioned by means of a single hydraulic cylinder connected by a 25mm diameter steel rod to two identical arm and wheel units DEF. The mass of the entire tow bar is 200 kg and its center of gravity is located at G for the position zone determine the normal stress in the rod. So this is your aircraft tow bar. So this is the wheel of the aircraft. Okay, in a sing and the single hydraulic cylinder, which is this one, and it has a diameter of twenty five mm. Okay, so it, this is connected to a two identical arm and wheel units DEF DEF. So yeah, this is the side view. So you have one on this side and the other one on the uh, other side. If you are looking this way. Okay, if you're looking this way or on the top plane view, all right, and this is the the center of mass of the tow bar. Now you've asked to find the normal stress in this link, this hydraulic cylinder. Okay, so let me bring this, let me turn this into a free body diagram. So doing that, I got this one. Now let's do this first. Let's talk about this first. So this is the tow, uh, the tow ball of the aircraft, and this is the the arm. The what's that called again? The arm and wheel units. Okay, so you have one on this side and the other one on the other side, and this in contact with the route. So you need and so you need to find the reaction force of this wheel, little wheel. So you have uh, the down force. Uh, w up force, uh, so I assume upward is the direction, a positive direction of the reaction force for the wheel. So there's only, uh, there's no forces in the x direction. And you cannot sum, uh, use a summation of Fy to find the unknown because there's only one equation, but you have two unknowns. So what I'm going to do is to use the uh, moment. So take a moment about A, about this point. I got uh, one. 1150 which is the distance from A to G times uh, this bar is has a mass of 200 kilograms so you need to multiply it by the gravity which is 9.81 to get the force and that's why it's in newtons of course and this is that wall so you have positive minus A50 times R so the distance from here to the wheel is a 50 mm and this is a uh, uh, this is upward force as i assumed so negative because it counterclockwise so i have negative a 50 times r then set this expression equal zero because it's in equilibrium then solve for r i guess 2654.45 newtons now i need to find the, the next step is to cons uh, to determine the angle what angle so let me back to the uh, the picture here. So you see this one is in is in uh, inclined angle. So the angle between the horizontal line and this one. So let me do it over here. So this is a hydraulic cylinder, and this is in the horizontal uh, line. So this angle I will call it theta for this cylinder. So this angle. E, so how do you find this angle? You uh, you make a triangle, okay? So you have the distance from here to here, which is 675, and the distance from here to here is 100. So this angle is equal to a tangent of this angle equal opposite over adjacent, which is what? 100 over 60 over 675. So which is I have which why which is what I had here? Tangent of theta equals equals 100 over 675 then I got theta equals 8.427 degrees now again for this arm link this is the hydraulic and this is a horizontal line so this angle is what we just found and right here we have a pin joint so there's the and if you remember the pin joint has the x direction and y direction well actually there's only one force but it's the resultant force so i rock it down into two into x and y components so i have e x and e y ok 
okay so actually there's just a force acting in this way like this okay but I just rock it out into XY component for easy calculations alright now I know the angle of this one the goal is to find the normal force in this uh, in this uh, hydraulic cylinder so let's see so now take a moment about E so if I took a moment about this one I would eliminate this for this for so I left with only this one and this is what I want so you you don't actually need to calculate the forces for EX and UY but uh, in a free body diagram I need to show this one as is a part of the free, bo free body diagram okay all right now take a moment about E and assume clockwise direction is a positive is positive set uh, this moment is equal to this force which is what we just found up here and this is clockwise uh, with respect to E so I have positive 265445 times the distance from here to here is 500 millimeter now for this force so FCD okay let me slow down here so you have FCD in in this way you have if I work this down into XY component I have FCD X FCD Y okay so you need to know only FCD FCD X is equal to FCD times cosine theta and FCD Y is equal to FCD FCD times sine theta okay so I need this one I need to know the force CD so I can use this one I reversely use this one and it's in clockwise direction now in this case this also in clockwise direction with respect to E okay so the moment of this one is equal to FCD times cosine theta and theta is 8.425 which, which is what we just found and times the distance from this force to E which is 550 and then set this expression equal zero because it's in equilibrium then solve for the force CD I got FCD equals negative 2439.5 newtons that means that this force should have been pointing to the left okay now since we know the normal the normal force in the normal force FCD we can find the normal stress of this one so the normal stress of this one is equal to the normal force divided by the area so the normal force is uh, what we just found 2439.9 newtons divided by the area and you are given the area and you are given the hydraulic cylinder has a, a diameter of 25 mm so the area of a cylinder uh, of a circle a cylinder is equal to 5 pi over 4 times diameter squared doing uh, punch this into the calculator and you will get negative 4.97 megapascal the negative sign means that it is in compression okay so that's it if you find the video is helpful feel free to give it a like share and subscribe to my channel in order to receive the most current videos don't forget to hit the bell so that you won't miss anything i'll see you next time